Well, hello. Have I got a story to share with you? So, let me tell you this harrowing tale of a hutch makeover gone wrong in so many different ways. I think that old pieces of furniture just have it out for me. They just don't like to be transformed into something. They're a very reluctant caterpillar that does not want to become a butterfly whatsoever. It likes being a caterpillar. It thinks it's great being a caterpillar. And when I try to make it a butterfly, it's like, no. So before I start off this video, I just want to let you know, this is not exactly a DIY tutorial. This is more of a DIY experience. This project reminds me greatly of my first dining room table makeover video. Uh, I cried. I spoke very passionate words. So a little backstory. Uh, I originally got this hutch because I wanted a place to display all of my redone pieces that I was going to accumulate. I got this hutch before I got a ton of redone pieces. So it was kind of like, I was thinking I was gonna be really lucky in finding a ton of stuff. I mean, I, I have found some stuff, but not really enough to warrant having a hutch. Let's get back on track. I fell in love with the shape of the hutch. I did not really love the color. And so the <laughs> the main goal of this was just to give it a paint job and maybe paint the back a color. But as you know, I can't keep things simple. It's a curse. So through the trials and tribulations of this project, I have filmed most of it. Um, I'm not gonna say that I filmed the very passionate ex expletives that were said. <laughs> and I did not film me crying on the floor in a fetal position, so. You know, uh, you're gonna have to use your imagination for those. But I feel like people enjoy these kinds of videos because the last video that I made like this was the dining room table makeover video and it is my most popular, most second popular video. Um, so I think you guys what, like watching me suffer. I don't know how I'm supposed to take that. But if I can bring a smile to your face and kind of share my experiences with you and show you what not to do, I mean, let's go. But without further ado, let me share with you the first part of this harrowing tale. just say that while I was spraying the hutch outside in our backyard there were so many birds in the backyard they I don't know if it was some sort of migration it was so loud it, I felt like I was in the movie birds and I was terrified After I brought the hutch back inside from spraying it down with my Wagner paint sprayer, I realized that I had some bleed through and I thought I might share with you what I do to fix bleed through. I use um, shellac by Zinzer and I just apply it to where the stain 
is seeping through. If it needs to be sanded, I'll sand it a little bit after that, just lightly. And then I will just go over it again with the chalk paint. And it covers up the stains like magic. Now after I sprayed the hardware with the oil rubbed bronze spray paint, I realized it was just a little bit too brown for my liking. I went ahead and sprayed them with a flat black spray paint. Now because I feel like no video is complete without a tape peeling appreciation segment, as I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me, uh, here you go. As always, you're welcome. <laughs> now in regards to the actual back of the inside of the hutch, I originally wanted to just paint it like a light blue, but when I tried out a bunch of colors, just nothing seemed to like click with the style of the hutch and nothing seemed to just like make my heart sing. So I eventually just decided to do some vinyl planking on there. Same stuff I used on my bar cart transformation. It's, it's just peel and stick. So I just went ahead and did that. Now after I finished planking the back of the inside of the hutch, I was testing the drawer that I had put back into the dresser after painting it, and it was kind of hard to get it in and out. I did a Google search and saw on Google that people have used wax paper to kind of rub the paraffin onto the sticking points of like drawers and cabinet doors and everything, and so I figured I might as well give it a shot. And I did, and it worked. point it had been going kind of smoothly and I mean I guess the DIY gods had thought I had an easy road thus far because disaster struck. So I'm here and I'm trying to put all the hardware and stuff back on after spray painting it and I did just a dry fit of this door. And it doesn't close now. I think I'm just gonna curl up in a ball at this moment and uh, pretend like this project uh, doesn't exist. You would think that after this, after crying in a fetal position on the floor and sobbing your heart out and cursing into the sky and all of said above that I would just, you know, listen to some Enya, some soothing music, put some oils into my diffuser, and just come to grips with reality. But did I? No. So 
So I would like to say that after I drowned my feelings in chicken nuggets, I, you know, rallied my spirits and continued on. But no, I was, I was, I was done. I was so done. I have the best husband because not only did he put up with a very angry wife, but he also stepped in and tried to fix it. didn't work. After all that, they still didn't close. <laughs> Let me tell you how long we struggled with this. We were up until one o'clock last night. In that time, we scraped the paint off of the cabinet drawers to try to get the hinges to fit better. And we actually went to Lowe's to try to get different hinges that I was just gonna spray paint and they were gonna be modern hinges. Guess what? Neither Lowe's or Home Depot have hinges the same si of the size that we need. So yeah. That was great. Eventually though, we ended up getting the top glass door to actually close. Um, and we used some paraffin wax to get it to close smoothly and it that one works. And after several hours of working on one of the doors on the bottom, we got that one to open and close tightly, but it does close. The other one, no chance. It, it closes if you shove it in there. And then once you get it closed, it's loose in the frame, like it'll wiggle, but it won't come out all of the way. It just gets stuck. And I have tried sanding the paint down. They're both down to bare wood and it, it just won't open. We finally realized that it's just because the hinges are warped. And I was uneducated in this, in that I did not mark in their original position and they're all identical except for these warping defects and I don't know which hinge goes where. So I have currently resigned myself to just having two doors that open on a three door hutch. But a side effect to us working on the, just getting the hinges right and trying to get the doors to close, uh, a side effect of that was it started chipping away at my freshly painted hutch. This once pristine piece of uh, furniture now had to be distressed because I was not patching all of the nicks that we had made. So I went ahead and distressed the rest of it. Oh. After all of that, I'm calling it done for now. I, I need a break. It's pretty much done. I've distressed it. It looks done. I just have to figure out how to fix the doors. If anybody has any ideas on how I can fix it, please let me know. I really need help. I, I don't know what to do at this point. I did find some hinges on Amazon that I might try, but if anybody else has any other helpful tidbits on what we can do, to fix this, please let me know. In any case, this is what it looks like all finished. <laughs>
anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Uh, seriously, though, if you have any tips, uh, please, I am all ears. I hope this video made you laugh and I hope it made you smile. And I hope it inspires you to keep pushing on even when it's seems bleak and you're eating your feelings in chicken nuggets. But if I can do it, anybody can, I promise you. I just want to encourage you if you're in a DIY project or are going to take on a DIY project, don't worry if things don't go perfect the first time. You can always, always overcome it and there's always a solution, even if that means burning it. I'm not going to say that I did not say that in, in uh, the heat of the moment. I am such a dork. Anyway, I hope you guys all have amazing weeks and I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye guys!